Hey guys, welcome to the 2015 version of Joe Talks. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this past week's episode that we released, Smells Like Trouble, with uh, Gabby Dunn and, and Andy. Um, it was a lot of fun to make, and Gabby's just the best. So if you haven't watched it, check it out. Uh, I wanted to devote today to talking about my movie, Welcome to Forever. Uh, it's now available on YouTube to rent, and uh, it's a movie I'm really proud of. Patrick Fogarty and I um, produced the movie and put up the money to do it, and uh, kind of co-directed it, and Patrick shot it, and uh, it was an incredible experience. We shot it in five days in a cabin up in the mountains um, in Big Bear, which is like two hours from L.A., and uh, we put together a great cast. So in the movie, I, I play Joe. <laughs> this was also the last time I realized I need to give my characters names because I know when I released the trailer, some people thought this was like a prequel to Average Joe or something. That's just me being lazy and giving myself the name Joe because it's easy. Um, but I play a guy named Joe who uh, is debating moving from sort of the Appalachian Mountain area to L.A. to pursue a career as a stand-up comedian. So it wasn't a real stretch for me. Uh, I know what sort of limits I have as an actor, I think, and uh, I stayed within those bounds. But um, everybody else really, you know, they bring it, and uh, they do a terrific job. And I'm just so happy that you guys have a chance to, uh, to watch it now. Um, at the time, I was sort of going through a lot. Um, my best friend of years, uh, we talked literally once a week on the phone since we were 15 when we met. Um, it turned out he was lying to my face and was um, seeing my ex-girlfriend. They had moved in together and all of this without even me knowing it uh, out here in LA. And uh, it was a pretty life-shattering moment um, when the person you trust more than anything in the world <laughs> lies to you like that. And so um, I was going through a lot as far as, as questioning friendships and relationships and how angry could I be at him as opposed to her? Because we had broken up two years ago, so it's not like she really owed me anything as an ex-girlfriend, but as a friend, she lied to me too. And um, at the same time, I was sort of, there was, there was an average Joe shoot that hadn't gone very well, and I got really depressed about it. And then I got depressed about being depressed about something that in the grand scale of things was so insignificant. And so, you know, I was questioning um, career and what I wanted to do with my life and, and friendships and I just got an email so that's fun and then at the same time I was just talking to, to people I went to high school with who you know seemed to have things figured out at least from my point of view you know they had jobs and um, but you know in, in talking with them they hadn't really figured it out either you know they had the job that maybe they wanted but um, it didn't fill a void they thought it would uh, and so I think there's something really interesting about being 25, um, because I think growing up when you're a teenager, you, you sort of just assume you'll have everything figured out by 25, 25 is light years away. And when you get there, I think you realize that everything isn't figured out. Um, and so that's kind of what I wanted to, to discuss with the movie and kind of what I worked through. Um, I know that all sounds pretty heavy. Uh, and you know me, and I, I like to find the humor in everything, so there's plenty of, of levity and laughter, I think, in this movie. And beyond that, I think it's just um, questioning, you know, it's sometimes people come into your life at the right time, and they stay there, and then it's n through no fault of anyone's, you know, you sort of go different directions. Um, your life is just taken a different path, and you don't really connect with a certain person the way that you used to. And I think that was something else I really wanted to explore with this movie. And really, the fact that that's okay, um, it might feel kind of sad and bittersweet almost, but, you know, it's okay to let go of friendships. Um, it doesn't mean that you don't care about them, it's just that you're at different places now, and it's okay to check in from time to time, but you don't need to see them every week, and there's no reason to force that. Overall, it's just sort of, of a movie about questioning, about questioning your life and your significant other, if you're with somebody, is this the person I want to spend the rest of my life with? Um, is this job the, what, what I want to do for the rest of my life? Um, you know, questioning sexuality and religion and a lot of things, just a lot of questions. And uh, that's kind of what I wanted to tackle. And I think we did a good job of that. 
I'm really excited that you guys can watch this now, and I'm super stoked about the new Average Joe material that we're putting out. Um, season three is coming together. Uh, this new movie I'm shooting in New York is going to be a crazy fun experience. Um, 2015, I think, is going to be a really big year, and, and I hope you feel the same way. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back next week. Until then, it's time for some motherfucking mac and cheese.